Today on Forbes, this industrial spin-off is pulling lithium from brine to meet growing battery demand. Lithium is hugely important to electrifying the world's vehicles, with just one car's battery requiring more than 17 pounds of it. But extracting and processing the critical mineral is both costly and tough on the environment, and the United States largely relies on China for its supply. Prakash Govindan, the co-founder and chief operating officer of wastewater startup Gradient, said, quote, The demand side of lithium is crazy. We believe we can create a billion-dollar company just from the lithium business, but it is in the early stages of revenue. To meet that demand, Gradient, which cleans up wastewater on an industrial scale, is spinning out a new business called Alkali. That's with the LI at the end stylized to look like the symbol for lithium on the periodic table. As such, instead of mining from rock, the standalone venture plans to extract lithium from brine. Brine is the naturally occurring extremely salty water found in a variety of regions. Then the company plans to process it for use in batteries using a technique that it developed. It expects to raise 15 to 20 million dollars, including from Gradient itself, which will maintain a stake in the business, and to ultimately hire a new CEO to run it. This according to Govindan. The new business in lithium is an offshoot of Gradient's core operations in industrial wastewater treatment, where it works with major customers that include semiconductor giants TSMC and Micron, pharmaceutical makers Pfizer and GSK, Coca-Cola and mining firm Rio Tinto. Gradient, which has raised more than $400 million, including from billionaire John Arnold Centaurus Capital, reached a $1 billion valuation last year. It's the rare water technology startup to hit that mark. Gradient's revenue reached $150 million last year, and it's expected to hit $350 million this year. Govindan said that the lithium business currently has four commercial customers and represents, quote, less than 10% of Gradient's revenue. Govindan, who is 40 years old, and Anurag Bajpayee, who is 39 years old and the company's CEO, started the company in 2012 based on water purification research they'd done as PhD students at MIT. Today, the company has more than 1,000 installations for water treatment, removal of so-called forever chemicals, or PFAS, and lithium extraction. Gradient developed the lithium business in partnership with oil field services giant SLB, which is both an investor and a customer. SLB, formerly known as Schlumberger, set up a pilot project at its facility in Nevada in 2023. The process uses resins and membranes to more easily extract the lithium from brine, then relies on its own technology to concentrate the mineral, which ultimately is precipitated into a solid for use in batteries. This is a similar process to making rock candy from sugar water, although with many more complicated steps. The company said that its process for extracting lithium is faster and better for the environment, with both reduced carbon and water impact, compared to traditional methods of mining. Govindan said that it also has 50% lower operating costs than other methods of getting lithium from brine, which typically relies on evaporation ponds to slowly allow the lithium to become concentrated. Govindan said, quote, Mining is a very important application in general for Gradient, but lithium is special. We are experts in concentrating and converting the lithium-rich brine into lithium carbonate. Global lithium consumption reached 134,000 tons in 2022, a 41% increase from 95,000 tons in 2021, according to U.S. Geological Survey data. While lithium prices have plunged over the past year, in part due to the slowing growth of electric vehicle sales in China, long-term demand is expected to rise. By 2030, more than 60% of new vehicles sold in the U.S. are expected to be plug-ins or hybrids, according to data from the public-private partnership Liebridge. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.